I can read. Don't judge me. Namaste fam, Wolfgore here, and welcome back to Doki, a Doki Literature Club. This game is so cute, I still don't believe that it's going to get creepy. I don't believe it. It's not true. But the internet tells me that it is true, so why don't we jump back in, progress our storyline with our lovely lady friends here, and see what happens. Right! Okay, we have yet another poem to write, and I think we are just going to knock this out really quick. I'm feeling quite passionate about it. And, uh, you know, it's important to remember to breathe. So, you don't want to let things fester. That's not what, that's not good for your soul. Not good for your essence. Oh man, oh man. Uh, uh, you know, sometimes it's nice to just look at a rainbow. It's good for your soul. Double rainbow. I even find the urge to look at rainbows uncontrollable at times. Because it brings peace to my heart and to my soul. And love. And of course, love, which goes along with peace, as any good, true hippie will tell you. And you know, they're just so beautiful. So beautiful, those rainbows, with all of their colors. After a long day of gazing at rainbows, I like to cheer at the clouds and the starscape. Because it brings even more peace to my life. And even later, when I am in bed, I am captivated by the fireworks, in a metaphorical sense, that I saw earlier, which really inspired the idea of eternity in my marshmallow. <laughs> Let's see, for our final word, incongruent, I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that means. I don't know, I'm feeling lazy, so I guess I'll just pick this. Aw, oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Hi, Monica. It's good to see you, dear. Good to see you. Hmm. Does that camera seem high to you? One second. One moment. That's better. Now I'm centered in the shot. I'm not OCD, what are you talking about? Hi, Monica. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah! <laughs> God, really gotta get that laugh less creepy. It's hard though. You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion? Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. Well, we're happy to help, Boo. We're happy to help. Ah, I can't wait for the festival, says Natsuki. She sure changed her tone, that's odd. It's gonna be great. Eh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival, but it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Eh? I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Mon Ika. Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. <laughs> That's why it didn't make sense. Ah, uh, never mind. That was fun. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions are as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me, where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at the desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hands in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Ah, <laughs> sorry. Don't mind me. You can't go... You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine. See? Sayori shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so. I worriedly, worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back towards everyone else. 
but the conversation has already disappeared with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Wolfgore, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Wolfgore. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bother her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her, and I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh? Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Oh... Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Wolfgore. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sayori talks about you more than anything else you know. Eh? <laughs> She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sayori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now that it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Wolfgore. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful because that's just how she is when she's around you? No, I've never considered that. Ah, I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I do? What do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to the conclu jump to conclusions. I can read. Don't judge me. <laughs> so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Whoops. Ah. All right. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. But she keeps her voice so quiet that I can't hear from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her, that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary, but there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Da da da. Okay, everyone. After some passes, Monica calls... After some time passes, it helps when you read all the words in the sentence. Pro tip. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. Nice. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. Who should I show my poem to first? Um, Sayori! Because she's bae. Da da da. This is your best one so far. It's really nice. Really, really nice, Wolfgore. Er, thanks! Mm-hmm. Da da da. Sayori, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything alright? Eh, of course. Everything is fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Do you want to nap or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, all right. Hey, Wolfgore. I'm still a little surprised. I really thought that you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does. Or even Natsuki. But in the end, yeah, I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. Yeah, that makes sense. Why? You don't want to get closer with everyone else? Wait, of course I do. But that doesn't mean I need to try so hard to oppress them. I still understand you the most, Sayori. I know you have to sometimes put up with me, and I have to sometimes put up with you, but we have a, a wavelength or something, and this is how the poem came out. Sometimes it feels like you're the only exciting thing in my life. 
So sometimes it's just easier to write when thinking about you, Sayori. N no, Wolfgore, I don't deserve this. You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? Sayori has trouble keeping her voice steady all of a sudden. If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Sayori, I glance around the room to make sure nobody has noticed this. Sayori, I've probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me what will cheer you up. Sayori shakes her head. She sniffles and keeps shaking her head. Finally, she gathers herself up and puts on a smile. It's nothing, Wolfgore. It's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> I promise it won't happen again. Just smiles from everyone, okay? That's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm going to go home a little bit early today. Sayori, tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Who am I going to walk home with today? What the fuck? Who should I show my poem to next? Uh, Natsuki is always a little ball of fun. Da da da. This one's alright. Alright. Well, yeah. It doesn't blow me away. But there's nothing I really hate about it. It's just not really my style. I mean, that's fine. Okay. Come to think of it, this kind of reminds me of Sayori's poem from yesterday. Eh? You think so? Yeah, well, I guess if you've been friends with her for so long, you might be on the same wavelength. But never really struck me as her type. Sayori has a type all of a sudden? Well, I don't know, but honestly, how can someone so... er... Fluffy spends so much time with someone like you. What does that mean? It's like she's dragging around a dead weight. <laughs> Ugh, that was a little unnecessary. But think of it this way. If it weren't for me, she would probably just fly away like letting go of a balloon. You could say we each take care of each other in our own way. Whatever it is, I don't get it. Oh yeah, I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem. Here. I'll be your beach. Hmm. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your wonder over the years, but today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washed your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream, that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought <laughs> I keep thinking of beach as bitch and it just makes it too funny in a way you thought had left you long ago let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand wash your insecurities in the salty sea and let me see you shine let's leave your memories in a footprint trail set you free in my windy sail and remember the reason you're wonderful and remember the reason you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me be by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. Good poem. I liked it. I liked it. Yeah. That was cute. I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. Kinda hard to write anything negative about the beach. So you decided to write about the beach first and then came up with the message later? Yeah, well, it's only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, after Yuri and I realized we kind of wrote about the same thing, she wanted to pick a topic and have us both write about it, or whatever. Ugh, you can really see her doing that too. Making us write about a simple topic than trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy? Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. Yeah. Alright, let's show our poem to Yuri next. Hey Yuri. Da da da. Well done, Wolfcore. You've definitely improved your writing over the course of these few days. Has my advice been helpful to you? Yeah, definitely. I'm glad. Sharing our writing like this, it's a lot more fun and rewarding than I anticipated. I need to remember 
to thank Monica. I think we all felt a little awkward at first, but now it seems like everyone is enjoying sharing the writing and seeing what others think. I guess I can't really disagree. I was afraid this whole thing would be a chore, but it's a great way for me to spend some personal time with all the girls in the club. But it's been fun getting to know everyone and their writing. And I guess doing some writing myself. Well, have you learned anything about yourself, Wolfcore? Eh? Well, you know how I like to say that writing is a very personal way to get in touch with yourself? In the end, it doesn't matter. In the end, it doesn't even matter. Sorry, Linkin Park. Chester, rest in peace, buddy. It doesn't matter if you're a good writer or a bad writer. And even my opinions are just opinions, you know? As always, I believe what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Eh? Why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share. Is that so? Da da da. Yuri thinks for a good minute. That must be terrible. Eh? For me to have become someone who whose opinion is fearsome. Girl, that's something you should be proud of. Fierce. <laughs> How unlikable of me. Yuri, you're doing it again. It's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just meant that I respect your opinion. I see. I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to those sorts of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked. Yuri, what? What am I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. All right. Do you want to share your poem now? Okay, here. Beach. A marvel millions of years in the making, where the womb of Earth Chastically? C-H-A-S-T-I-C-A-L-O-I. Chaotic? Oh, chaotically! I, I, it's not an S, that's an O. Chaotically meets the surface under a clear blue sky in expanse of bliss, but beneath gray rolling clouds in endless enigma. The easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. One can only build a sandcastle where the sand is wet. Ooh. But where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at your foundation until you give in? Or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet we still build sandcastles. Whoa. That was kind of deep. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish in the sand. The salt air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle, yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tendrils. Turn back, and I abandon my peace to a road at the shore. Drift forward, and I return to Earth forevermore. Wow. That was good. That was good. God damn, the poetry is actually good. Wow. Um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an insane thing to write about, but I did my best to take a metaphorical approach to it. Yeah, Natsuki told me about it. She, she did? She didn't say anything weird, did she? She just wanted us to write about the same topic again. I suppose to... I suppose to better compare the difference in our writing style or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. She said it was your idea. Hmm, suspicious. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she wanted to do something like that. She probably just wanted to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But... Well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. I liked it. I liked it. These are good poems. 